on YouTube. Got a uh, scrap out of 110 transformer and see what we got inside. I've already undone the four screws. So uh, let's have a look. Do this little nut. Trip switch. Let's uh, just lock these cables off. Never done one of these before, so it'd be interesting to see what's what. I'll buy myself a new pair of side cutters. <coughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nuts holding these on. Undo those. Quickly as I can. Seven wheels. Spin them off. Holding that one. As I say, I've never done one of these, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what's inside. With a copper wire. Nice. <laughs> Sandpit. Let's try and clean this up. Just sweep it into my pocket. <laughs> ah. Is it copper? I bet it ain't. Oh, it is. What I usually do with these, 
the ones that haven't got this um, resin, or whatever it is, I'm going to just cut down there with the angle grinder, put it in the vise, smack a lever bar through there, and leave where it's at. It usually comes out in one big chunk. So I think that's the method I'm going to use on this one. I think I might chip this off first. Yeah, let's do that. Over there. Whenever you use an angle grinder, make sure you wear safety goggles. Doesn't matter what you're cutting. We'll never use an angle grinder, I've lost mine. Here it is. like we're through. Well, I just had to cut these bits of plastic off to get the grinder in a bit further. Not what I usually do. It might be an easier way of doing these but this how I do it. But I'll never conform. Just cut this bit of plastic off. Put that in there. Let's get a longer bar.
and put her up. Or another method you could use. Is if you've got an air chisel, you can do a similar thing and just put your air chisel in, force it through and lever it back. But I do it this way, it's quite easy. It's just a Open it up with a little one. There you go. I don't do this for a living, I just do this for a hobby. It gives me something to do. When there ain't much else going on. There you go. Two fairly large lumps of copper out of there. Let's uh, weigh it, shall we? This might not be the most accurate weight to do it, but it's what I've got. Let's turn that on. Let it zero. One point eight one kilograms. Two point one six three kilograms. So there you go, a little over 2kg worth of copper. <laughs>